I'm Dinell and welcome to Craze. On today's show, we're talking about pathological lying. What is pathological lying and can you overcome it? We have our wonderful guest back, Chris Hammond of LifeWorks Group, to talk more in depth about that topic and see what we can do to help you. We also have a special today of two music artists. We have Kirk Russell and Stefanato. To open up the show, we have Kirk Russell coming to the stage performing Changed. Let me testify a little bit. So glad he set me free. Turn my life around, now I'm living more abundantly. But that wasn't the case, I was living always. Man, what can I say? To say the least, I was living hypocritical. Church one moment in the club, it was typical. But God didn't call me to be like the rest. But people like to stress the old message. Man, be in Christ, he is made new. Old things have passed away. So don't let people hold you down. Do Listen, he died that you might be free. Yeah. He yeah. gave you the victory. Yeah. And when people try to tell you who you once were, just look them in the eye and scream, I've been changed. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I've been changed. I've been changed. Oh, don't worry about me. God's working on my testimony. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. I'm free to be who I am. I'm walking in liberty when the sun sets free, is free indeed. Listen, love is patient and love is kind. And love doesn't keep wrongdoing in mind. And men will only know us by the light that we shine. So stop all that gossip with your nosy behind us. And then just with them and pray and lift them up again. Lives will be changed when we tap into the spirit realm. Times we all seem to lose our way. When you see it, just give them these words to say. If man be in Christ, he is made new. Old things have passed away. So don't let people hold you down. Nah, he died that you might be free. He gave you the victory. And when people try to tell you who you once were, just look them in the eye and scream, I've been changed. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I've been changed. I've been changed. Oh, don't worry about me. God's working on my testimony. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. I'm free to be who I am. I'm walking in liberty, whom the sun sets free, is free indeed. I've been called for us to live holy, and he called for us to live true, and he called for us to live righteous. So we can't use sin as an excuse uh, to live any kind of way that you want to, thinking that your life will be blessed and prosper. Remember who you are, you're a child of the king. Rise, son of God, and proclaim. I've been changed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I've been changed. I've been changed. Oh, don't worry about me. God's working on my testimony. I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. I'm free to be who I am. I'm walking in liberty whom the sun sets free is free indeed. I've been changed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I've been changed. Hey, don't worry about me. God's working on my testimony. Yeah, I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb. I'm free to be who I am. Walking in liberty when the sun sets free is free and huh. If you've been changed, put your, put your hands up. If you've been changed, come on, put your hands up. If you walk it, you free, come on. Hey, if you know he set you free, put your hands up. And if you're feeling all right, let me see you dance. If you're feeling all right, let me see you dance. If you know you've been changed, somebody make some noise for Jesus Christ in the place. Hallelujah. God, we give you the praise. We thank you that we've been changed by the blood of the Lamb. Get up, get up, get up, get up. When we come back, we'll be sitting down with Chris Hammond to talk about pathological lying and still to come, a performance by Stefanato. Internet television, the wave of the future has begun. It's here, it's free, it's awesome, it's ministry. It's DoersTV.com, doing TV God's way. Visit today at DoersTV.com. A one-of-a-kind internet TV network with 21 channels of unique Christian programming at the click of a mouse. Go to DoersTV.com and be blessed with Christian reality TV 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Visit DoersTV.com today. Hi, 
and welcome back. We're talking about pathological lying on the show today. What is pathological lying and is it something that you can overcome? Are you born with it? Where does it come from? And where can you go from knowing that you have it? We have our wonderful Chris Hammond with us here. Thank you. And you are with LifeWorks Group. Yes, I am. Well, you are wonderful. We have you on the show as often as possible. And we're so glad to have you here today to talk about this topic because we really need to know mm -hmm. what is pathological lying because okay white lies lying right. this and but what's the difference between someone who has a tendency to lie or someone who is a pathological liar well let's just start with a little bit little itty bitty lies so the white lies would be like I tell you you look great but I really don't think you do right okay right. so those are the white <laughs> lies right then we can move up the scale to just regular line which would be I did do my homework when I really didn't do my homework right and then the pathological line is kind of like I really do believe that I did do my homework when I didn't do my homework and I somehow have convinced myself that that is reality. Wow. So it's a whole nother level of lying. There's a lot less guilt involved in that and a lot less even awareness that they are really telling a lie at that point. What can possibly start or cause somebody to be a pathological liar? First of all, is lying something that that someone is born with is it a tendency is it learned well lying as you know is one of the top 10 no-nos in yes. god's commandments right yes, it is so one of the top big top 10 is do not lie um which kind of tells us already that that is part of who we are who mm -hmm. our makeup is mm -hmm. um, we know from scripture that satan is the father of all lies so lying is part of our human nature as children we are natural liars Wow. Think about little kids, right? The, you see some spilled milk on the floor, and you see your two-year-old standing right there, and you say, Tommy, did you spill that milk? And he looks right at you and says, no. <laughs> now, you know he spilled true. that milk. And often we laugh and think it's so cute. But right. <laughs> in all That's honesty, exactly right. This is so true. I mean, I want to actually quickly go back to the top ten, mm -hmm. um, because it's the truth. That is the top ten things that we're supposed to live by, and it's actually found in Exodus. And I just want to make sure that those, if you don't know the Ten Commandments, Specifically, um, in Exodus 20, 16, it says, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor, which false testimony is the is same lying. as lying. Doesn't Correct. matter what kind, white, normal, path. It no, doesn't matter. it does not There's matter. no level in God's eyes about lying. Doesn't so let's matter. make sure that that's very clear. So with that, though, it's true. Little children, mm -hmm. oftentimes you brush it off and you think, oh, look at how cute they are. Right. They're adorable. <laughs> they're cute. And then you're kind of setting a very dangerous pattern for the mm. child. And then we as parents also do other things, like we tell our kids all about the tooth fairy, uh -huh. or we tell them about Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And it seems so sweet and innocent, but at the same time, now we're perpetuating lying and kind of making it acceptable for the child. So then the child starts thinking, oh, well, in some circumstances, lying is okay. Okay. And we live in a society, really, that's all about that, even in the media mm -hmm. and commercial and magazines. I mean, Photoshop has finally come out. I was appreciative yes. when that happened. Um, but, you know, because it's an illusion of something that isn't true and isn't right. real, which is a lie. Absolutely. So how is it that these young people, okay, so they start there, and if it's not kind of clarified as Correct. a young person, then they grow up into their teen years, right? and it takes on a whole new face. It really does, and um, if it's not stopped immediately, if a parent doesn't identify it as being lying, a parent, a teacher, a mentor, somebody in their life say, this is a lie, you should not be doing this, and help and train the child in order to, them to understand that, then they'll just keep adding one lie on top of the other. And mm. the worst part about it, where it becomes pathological, and might even be part of an underlying psychological disorder is is just the continuation of the line over and over and over again to the point that they start to believe their own lies wow. and that's where it becomes actually dangerous I imagine because that can take on a whole new whole new world of yes. consequences and repercussions that come thereafter. And interestingly enough, as you brought that up, I read a, a recent article in um, 
the National Geographic magazine, they had a whole spread on the teenage brain. Hmm. And what was fascinating about the topic was that they did all kinds of experiments about how the teenage brain operates, because we're all, you know, why do they do the crazy things that they do or say the crazy stuff that they say? And what they found in the study was that it's not that teens don't properly assess risk, they do. It's just that they value the rewards of the incident much greater proportion than they do the risk. Hmm. So, if you think about it this way, if a kid is trying to decide, should I or should I not cheat on a test, right? Mm -hmm. The um, rewards of cheating on a test would be, well, I'll get a good grade. I won't have to admit to anybody I didn't study. I might get into college, and I might get into, the, I might get the scholarship that I want. Mm -hmm. The consequences would be, I'll get a zero, might get expelled, and might get suspended. So what they do is they say, well, these rewards are this much greater, and here are the consequences down there when really it's actually the other way around. So they have a misinterpretation. They have a misinterpretation. Wow. And that is costing a lot of young people their futures. Absolutely. Their fu and then I'm, I'm sure that there may be some who are watching that have gotten away with it a few times. Yes. And that's the worst thing, yes, I think. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Because they get away with it and they that's think, right. okay, and then okay, and then okay, and then okay. I actually know a young teenage um teenager who um, was stealing mm -hmm. and it started by something small and mm -hmm. turned into something else and then something else and something else and it was this fun game that he played regardless of advice right and then he got caught right and was filed charges and now he has a permanent record right and stealing is no different than lying no, it's because it's it's equally the same it's doing wrong taking away and, and you lie because you've taken something that you didn't pay for. Right. It's another form of it. It is. And the consequence will be with him now for the rest of his life. That's exactly right. And now his whole future is ruined. Mm -hmm. So how, at this point now, there's one example of consequences. And, yes. And how it can start early. But what can we do now if we have those in the audience, maybe struggling with it, mm -hmm. know someone who's struggling with mm -hmm. it, how can we get them help or get someone to get help? You know, the important thing is if you know that somebody's struggling with it, you've got to tell somebody. Mm. It is the hardest thing for teens to do, but if you know that somebody's struggling with lying, you've got to let someone know. A parent know, a teacher knows, somebody who can help them out, a coach, mm. anyone, um, a pastor, a good mentor for them. You've got to let somebody know that they are struggling with lying. Because a lot of times the lying is really covering up some other issues that might be going on in their life. For instance, what? Can you give some quick examples? Sure. Because they may not even realize, as we said, they don't realize they're lying. Right. What could be going on? They know what's going on. Right. Could this be one of the things that they're doing? Well, a lot of times we see kids who have been abused, mm. they get in the habit of lying. They're already in the habit of covering up for their parents or whoever their abuser is over and over and over again. So then the lying just becomes part of their everyday life. Mm. And they wind up being our pathological liars because they don't know of any other way of survival. Wow. So if you know a kid who's lying on a continual basis about just stupid, dumb, idiotic things, then telling somebody and getting them help might be the first step to getting them into recovery from a much more serious condition. So this could be something, a, a warning sign, a big warning sign that's Absolutely. letting you know something else is going on. Absolutely. What kind of avenues can we offer our viewing audience to seek out um, additional help? What if they don't feel comfortable with the people that they're around? What if they are in a situation that's abusive and they can't talk to those people and they're not sure? Is there something they personally can a website. I know that you folks have your website. Right, we do. We have our website and we have information on our website, which is lifeworksgroup.org. And every single state has mandatory reporting requirements for cases of abuse or neglect. So if you suspect that a child is lying because of one of those reasons, you probably need to inform your state. Mm, there you go. So that's, it's so much more severe and it's mm -hmm. so much more something that you yourself definitely want to reach out to someone, get help for yourself. If you are struggling with something that's hidden underneath this that you're battling with, 
reach out to somebody that you can trust and get some help for that. But if pathological lying is something that you're struggling with, the consequences outweigh the rewards as we talked about. And I just Absolutely. quickly want to go over, Proverbs is one of my favorite books of the Bible Man, because it is it. such a life lesson mm -hmm. book. If, if you're going through something or you need to know what are you supposed to do, Proverbs is the book. But in Proverbs 12, 19, it says, truthful words stand the test of time, but lies are soon exposed. And that's the whole thing. They are always exposed. Maybe not right away. You may get away with it for a few minutes or a few times even, mm -hmm. but it will be exposed. And the longer you've gotten away with it, the more severe the exposure will be and the consequences attached to that. Thank you so much for being on Thank the show. You. It is such a wonderful treat as always. You, I love having it. you on. And make sure you go on to lifeworksgroup.org. Yes. There's information on there about this and other things as well. They cover a wealth of topics. Please get help. Please seek that out. Still coming up, we have music and entertainment with Vinny and Stacy, along with our performance by Stefanato. God has given us a specific set of rules for us to follow. And some of them, even the most basic, at times can seem nearly impossible to follow. Even ones like honoring our own parents. When it gets hard for us, we can say things like, oh, well, they don't deserve it, or they don't know what I'm going through. God has already responded to any of our excuses. Deuteronomy 30.11 says, The commands I give you today are not too hard for you. It is not beyond what you can do. And God, just like parents, set rules for our own good. And the more we follow them, the better we'll be. So remember, even it may p seem impossible to love that little sibling of yours, it's not. Stacy, did you smell that? It's time for Craze TV. We're here with your music and entertainment update. I'm Vinny D. This is Stacy T on Craze TV. Excellent intro, Vinny. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, anyways, we're not really about intros, about movies, DVDs, music, all the latest for you guys. Yep. Um, what I want to tell you about is uh, a new movie called The Dolphin Tale. It's about Winter, the dolphin, who had to have his tail amputated. Oh. Really, really sad, but his rescuers yeah. actually helped him to get a prosthetic tail so that he could survive. I didn't even know they did prosthetic tails for animals. Well, they just said that they made him a prosthetic tail. Yeah, they do, I guess. Wow. You know what we should do, Stacy, is maybe get an interview at Winter. Have you ever inter interviewed a dolphin before? Well, you know, I came close to interviewing Flipper. But he totally blew me off. He's way too big. You mean he flipped you off? Yeah, he flipped me off. <laughs> but anyways, um, have you seen the movie Doughboy? Uh, well, yeah, I know the Doughboy. Not the Pillsbury Doughboy. I'm talking about no. the movie, The Doughboy. No, I have not seen The Doughboy. Well, I'm going to tell you about The Doughboy, guys. Um, Doughboy is actually about a troubled teenager who ran around town graffitiing, graffitiing, is that a word? <laughs> it is now, <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> Messing up public buildings. Uh, vandalizing would be a word. Uh, mess up uh, public buildings. I can't talk, Stacey. You got me all distracted over here. But, um, yeah, so anyways, he gets sentenced to community service. And not just any community service. He gets sentenced to, nope, not prison. A veteran's home. Ouch. That oh. sounds really rough, Vinny. Oh, it's rough. It's rough because these guys don't mess around. They teach this kid a lesson and um, they actually show him what they went through to serve for our country and also stuff that they gave up. So it's actually, it's a good family movie. You got to check it out. So Vinny, it kind of sounds like you're talking from experience. I'm talking because I've seen the trailer, the preview. That's right. the only experience I have with that movie. Okay, well, I think the movie will be a really good opportunity for people to learn what, you know, our soldiers go through when they go to work to fight for our freedom. So if you guys want to find out what it is, make sure you vandalize some property. Also... I'm just kidding. What? Ugh. Also, holiday season, I just want to remind you, the DVD is out, the Grace Card. Pick that up, it's a really good holiday gift yes. idea. Yes. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. If that's what you want for Christmas, I got you. Okay, Grace Card. Grace Card is a good movie, but what we're going to do right now, Stacy, I want you to follow me because I know you're, you know, a little behind here with the driving thing down here in Florida, but we're going to make a left down Music Street. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go down Music Street, and then we're going to make a right down New Album Boulevard. You with me? Not at all, but go ahead. Okay, and... Um, I, I don't use turn signals either because I'm from Boston, so we don't use signals. So just keep up with me. But 
I got something for you. There's a new album coming out. That's pretty much what I'm getting to. And I know it's gonna excite you. Okay. And it is Shane and Shane's new album called um. The Way You Are. Well, that does excite me. Although, Vinny, that's not the name of the album. <laughs> the one you need is the name of the album and their single off of it. Um, Shane B wrote for his little daughter. It's so cute. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yes, yes, he has a little girl. Mm-hmm. So oh, he wrote sweet. the title track for his little baby girl. That's so sweet. That actually could bring a tear to my eye. Yeah, a lot of things bring tears to your eyes. So, um, but that's okay. Don't worry. Don't cry because you know what's coming? No, but I have a feeling you're going to share with us, Stacey. Yes, Christmas albums. Christmas albums? Wait a minute. We haven't even had a Halloween or Thanksgiving yet. Okay, shh. It doesn't matter. It's still the holiday season. Toby Mac, Matthew West, their albums are out, so you guys can pick them up. Super excited about Christmas. <laughs> yes, we could tell you. He already hinted me what you want for Christmas, and then also now i got to get you out of Winter Wonderland and Fantasyland because you're building snowmans and stuff because it's time to wrap this thing up. We're running out of time, Stacy. But we have a lot more for you guys next week, so stay tuned because you don't want to miss what we have for next week. Yeah, be sure to check us out on Facebook at Craze TV. Make sure you like it, too. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up. See you guys next week. Next week. Love you. Bye. Forget about it. Thank you, Vinny and Stacy. Well, we have our music, our second musical guest of the show. We have Stefanato. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I so look forward to hearing your music because that's coming up right after we talk. Right. Um, but I want to let the viewing audience know who you are, how they can get a hold of your music. So why don't we go ahead and cover that first so that we make sure they know where to get your stuff. Sure. Well, my name is Stefanato. Um, I'm actually a West Indian. I'm from the Caribbean. Wow. And I um, actually make, I make hip-hop, rap music, but also some reggae and so on. On this project, which I recently released, um, it's going to be primarily rap. And so where they can find my music is on my, uh, my website, which is www.iamstefanato.com. They can also find me on Twitter. People can follow me on there. Awesome. And I'm always giving away free things, you know, giving you little snippets of songs and so on, just different things I have going on, shows. Um, and also on Facebook, you can find me. Awesome. So, so definitely follow him. Mm -hmm. Get on Twitter. Know what's coming up. Know what's going on. I am fascinated at the fact that this album is a free digital download. Correct. Wow. That says unsurmountable amounts about you as a person. <laughs> because we were talking earlier, and you said much of this is just testimonial mm -hmm. and biographical. You've made some trips. You've even gone to Africa a few times. Is yes. that right? Yes, I had the privilege, which has been awesome. Wow. Mm -hmm. So this has got all of that in there, and you're just giving it away. I'm huh? just giving it away, <laughs> you know? Well, you know what? How has God opened doors for you because of that? Um, honestly, he's, he's allowed me to connect with different people, you know, and just be able to share. And that's, that's the greatest privilege. You know, you have to earn the right to speak into somebody's life and to be listened to as well. And so because it's been given away for free, that's earned the rights to even be here. Wow. And so, um, you know, it's just been, just been a real privilege getting it as far as, uh, New Zealand, Australia, wow. all over, you know, uh, Nigeria. Praise and God. so it's been a blessing. I mean, of course the internet helps as well, but it's just been, it's, it's been a sweet deal all the way around. So God is good. He's faithful. So make sure you get a hold of a copy of his download digital, um, free digital, and it's at the website right at the bottom, um, imstefanato.com, right? That's where right. they can get it. Yes. Make sure you go there. Make sure you get this free digital download. That is just so awesome. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. And for those of you in the viewing audience, we thank you for tuning into Craze, and we want to make sure that we're covering topics and situations that you want us to cover. So write into craze at mychristianfilms.org. Good or bad, know that you have a voice and it should be heard. We thank you so much again. I'm Dinell, and closing us out is Stefanato performing Shine. To you and yours, listen. To all my people in the struggle, we were destined for greatness. But somewhere along the lines, it seems we settle for less. So, what I need y'all to do is to stand with me and march with the movement because we were made for more. Listen. 
uh, birth and shame, my portion, a portion I'm causing, pain from the start already false and I'm coughing name, the highest bid death, calling and calling my name, cause of you, I'm a slave to this auction vein, stated and orphaned and claimed by the grave, the most sacred of offerings is life, and I'm painted a portrait of pain, and I'm breaking, I'm frailing and porcelain, Embracing this torment as a child in my heart like a chain of revolving Now a man on the pavement, I'm walking with footprints of fire, eyes blazing, scorching I walk a path with my savior, often I'm feeling heaven's army, the angels and horsemen Marching with me, Babylon has fallen, I was made to change the world, now I made for abortion All them times that you didn't let me shine, fine, now I'm gonna make you blind ha. Come on, blind for all them times that you didn't let me shine Fine, no one it'll drive you crazy ha, Yeah, crazy Standing there like it didn't even phase me I stand alone, pen and revolution in the moonlight Turn them into lions, not rallying to do right And sadly, many lose sight of hope I hope my quotes can renew life To the broken, in a woven, a moment golden It's more than music, many seek atonement <laughs> It ain't a screenplay of love, little thug. You claim to be the truth. You just a dud. The farthest thing from the truth, like BL's above. I guess you'd rather talk. Grey goose popping bub in the club, and y'all looking like fools. I wonder if your character can outshine your jewels. Confused, I wrote a song to the few who don't understand there's a greatness in you. Spew fire and so cold, change the climate. I'm looking at my watch while my words stay timeless. All them times that you didn't let me shine. Fine, now I'm gonna make you blind. Uh, yeah, come on, blind. Uh, and for all them times that you didn't let me shine. Fine, no one it'll drive you crazy. Uh, so crazy, standing there like it didn't even phase me. Uh, it's like it didn't even phase me, phase me. It's like it didn't even phase me, phase me. It's like it didn't even phase me, phase me. Listen, uh, and for all them times that you didn't let me shine, 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 shine. And for all them times that you didn't let me shine, 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 shine. And for all them times that you didn't let me shine, 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 shine. You were made to be great, and the Lord wants to shine his light through you, so shine. Get up! Let me testify a little bit. So glad he set me free. Turn my life around, now I'm living more abundantly. But that wasn't the case, I was living always. Yeah, yeah, man, what can I say? Yeah. To say the least, I was living hypocritical. Yeah. Church one moment in the club, it was typical. But God didn't call me to be like the rest. He me up. But people like to stress the old message, man, be in Christ. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to. I dedicate this to you and yours. Listen. To all my people in the struggle. We were destined for greatness. But somewhere along the lines, it seems we settle for less. So what I need y'all to do is to stand with me and march with the movement. Cause we were made for more. Listen. Uh birth and shame, my portion, abortion, I'm causing pain from the start already false and a corporate name. The highest bid death.